Hello, my name is Sophie and welcome to this week's video. This week's video is a December favourite slash what I got for Christmas video. I've got my list. Let's start with this. This just looks like a navy notebook. Uh, to me it looks beautiful. Um, this is my new bullet journal. Right now it is completely empty. I'm yet to start using it at all. But um, it's the same design as my old one. I've made a couple of bullet journal videos which I will link below if you're interested. And I'm just really excited to start a new journal in the new year. This one I kind of knew I was getting because I was in Sainsbury's with my mum and I pointed this out and I was like oh my god it's beautiful. And she was like well if you stop looking in the trolley maybe Santa will buy it for you. So this folder came from Sainsbury's. I don't know how well you can see it. It's got little holographic hexagons on it. I just really love the colour scheme and it's really pretty. And I think I'm going to use that as my expenses and invoices folder for my freelance work. Which is really boring, but you know. <laughs> now to go with my folder and my bullet journal, I'm someone who thoroughly enjoys organisation, which I don't think is new information. And I, might, I write myself a new to-do list every day and I like to do that on a lined post-it note that I can stick on the front of my bullet journal so I can just tick it off rather than having to flick through every time I would need to figure out what's next. So my mum bought me some new post-it notes. They're square and they've got lines on. I mean, everyone has different post-it note preferences. Um, and then she also got me, oh dear, she got me a second pack as well. And she also bought me this little selection of smaller ones that say, to do and to remember and um, I can't read it because I'm holding it in front of the camera but you know you can see I really enjoy those and then this I'm very excited about my auntie Heather got me and my sister one of these and it's a little ring bound cardboard thing then you open it up and there's strips of post-it notes on the inside but it's not just this all the way it's different kinds of post-it notes I just think that's incredibly exciting. I think that might be it for stationery, so let's get on to clothes. First things first, I've got a pair of socks, a pair of Harry Potter socks. They're these really cosy yellow Hufflepuff socks. They're from Primark. They've got a, I don't know how you can see it, there you go. Uh, they've got a grippy bit on the bottom. They're really soft, they're really comfortable. And my gorgeous friend Catherine bought me these because we went to Primark in London together at the beginning of the month. Next thing, let's stick with the yellow theme. This is a like roll neck jumper, which is back to front, that I got from my aunt for Christmas. Um, it's just beautiful. It's so me. It's She's got it in a really big size, so it's nice and oversized. It's a really chunky knit, soft. It's got these uh, like cuffed wrists, which I think you'd call these bell sleeves. I'm not very good at fashion, names of fashion things, but I really love it. This one wasn't a Christmas present. Just before Christmas, Lucas and I um, spent a day in London and we went to the Science Museum. I bought it. It's a NASA uh, sweater. It's pretty simple. It's just the NASA logo on a grey sweater. And I'm obsessed with it. I love space. Oh, it's got a stain on it. Oh, no. I like space. I think this is cool. The Science Museum is really fun. Also recommend the Science Museum. The next two things don't really have a physical embodiment. I guess you could call this category experiences, but whatever, whatever. The first one is uh, there was a Queen Bohemian Rhapsody pop-up shop on Carnaby Street in London uh, earlier this month, which I was invited to to document the performance of a choir or some singers that were performing at the shop. It's a long story. I've got some freelance work and it was part of my freelance work to go to document the performance at this shop. And it was really, really cool. The shop was really cool. What they were selling was really cool. And all down Carnaby Street, they have the, uh, these like neon lights with the lyrics of Bohemian Rhapsody. It's really cool. Uh, I'll try and find some footage or some photos to put over the top of this, but it was a really amazing experience. And the second one, was it was a concert me and lucas went to a, the same trip we went to the science museum the night before we went to a concert at the o2 academy islington and we went to see shepherd they're an australian band it was a really small gig it was really really nice i wouldn't say they're a small band their music is so so good and i thoroughly recommend it particularly the album they released last year i think it's called watching the sky um, it's just so much fun. They're such a cool band. Everything else is a bit random, so I'll just kind of lump it all together. Let's talk about the first thing. I had 
picked out some other prints on Redbubble that I really liked and uh, my mum bought me one of them for Christmas and it's this like star constellation map thing. I just thought it looked cool. The next thing is this candle. My cousin bought me this for Christmas and it just smells incredible. It's a vanilla candle. It's not one of those Yankee candle scents that is like the dreams of children and it's like what do the dreams of children smell like? It's a vanilla candle but it just smells better than any other vanilla candle I've ever smelled in my entire life. Oh, it smells so good, it's so good. This Christmas my mum decided that she wanted to buy everybody travel mugs. I would have been happy with the cost of this one to be honest. Then my mum went above and beyond. So not only did she find me a galaxy print, is it going to focus on anything that isn't my face? There we go. A galaxy print travel mug but it's a Doctor Who galaxy print travel mug. I forgot the word for travel mug. I'm just so happy. Next we have something a bit random. This uh, is just a box that says Hufflepuff on it and even, even then this box is pretty enough as it is but then you open it up and it's eyeshadows. It's got a 12 month shelf life so it means that next year uh, my sister probably can pick a new eyeshadow palette and that will be my new eyeshadow palette for the year. The next thing is kind of two in one. I've had a little collection of pin badges for a while and I wanted a way to showcase them. I thought a little embroidery hoop would be a nice way. This embroidery hoop is actually a Christmas decoration which is why it's got the little stringy bit but I just thought it was perfect to showcase my little pins. And the actual favourite is this little Pixel Pikachu pin badge. I think he's really cute. He came from my sister. The last thing <laughs> I'm a little bit, you know, embarrassed of, but also incredibly proud of as well. I got a new costume for my Builder Bear. This bear was a present for my fifth birthday and I am now 22 so this bear is older than most of the children on the internet. She's such an old bear, she's actually a bear factory bear, not a builder bear bear. Until yesterday she had spent the last four or five years in this Spider-Man costume. For Christmas my mum bought me a Flash costume. Her name is Star by the way, uh, just in case anyone's watching and I love it. Two other things I wanted to mention really quickly for this necklace my mum got me it's got a quote written over two sides and it's from Les Miserables and it says the darkest nights will end and the sun will rise. I really love that. And the other thing from my boyfriend. Uh, if you watch my weekly vlogs you'll probably know that I'm somewhat obsessed with the video game Overwatch. And Lucas got me a jacket for a character called Diva who was one of the first characters I really got into and enjoyed playing. Uh, so I have that diva jacket. Even if you don't know the game, this jacket is really cool. I know some people get a bit upset about um, favourites videos or what I got for Christmas videos or haul videos because it feels like boasting or showing off and that's not what I'm going for at all. I just like talking about things that make me really happy. So that's what this was. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you've had a lovely Christmas with all your family. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!